How's it going today guys? My name is Ethan and welcome to Rapture and we are back in um, Fable Anniversary today. Why did I forget the name of the game? All right we're back in Fable Anniversary where we have just gone through a hobby cave and slaughtered all of them and we let a kid escape from his grandmother and now we're back now at the Heroes Guild. A nice person to be well, seeing. Hero! Get out of here. Anyway <laughs> we are here to level up all of our stuff because it is ridiculous. To be honest, as much as I like all the other spells, they're kind of worthless. Like all I all I'm ending up using is this um this spell anyway. They're multiple. Ones. Find fury. But you know what? Right now we're gonna level these up because we. Because we don't use a lot of um, archery abilities. Nine, six. Okay. That's about 20,000. But that doesn't. Okay. Four, 13. But why don't we go do something? Yeah. Oh no, no. Alright, we can buy that, but we haven't got help. Getting up there in strength. <coughs> Alright, so I think the next thing we're gonna do right at this very moment. Follow. I don't want that guy to follow me. Come on. Next trip is to Balestone. And we are going to buy the house there. So that person over there is useless to talk to. Is there two in here now? There was only one. There's the... Give me some beer. James, dude. Who is this? Oh, nice okay. to see you, hero. Greetings, hail, O oh hero bold. I am, you see, a famous bard. I sing you songs, you give me gold. It really isn't very hard. Hmm. Fuck. Yeah, well, you're kind of useless. Alright, I'll give you my mic. Alright, we don't need any weapons at the moment. It's like kind of okay with what we got. What's the hairstyle? I don't think there's any more hairstyle. I don't think there is, but. I'm gonna find more haircuts because this is ridiculous. Old mate, you tamarind have no place. Uh, house, which is yeah. All right. Live in there, we can go. So now, apparently, we come back like every in game day or so, every couple days, and we just collect money. Isn't too bad. Is it in our logbook? Is that just a on it? That maybe... Romances, religion, quest, encounter, 
Awesome. All right. Anyway, I think we're done here. Oh, I guess we can go to school and get to do uh, teach her a book. Why not? Since we're here, and it fills up our renown, I guess. Any books for friends. us today, hero? Oh, the children are always asking me about the arena. Oh, they'll love this. Ah, it lifts one's spirits to see a hero take such a keen interest in education. Uh, how many of you have been to the Witchwood Arena? Ah, but have you ever stopped to look at the statues in the Hall of Heroes. Some of the greatest heroes in Albion's history are celebrated there. Mighty champions who conquered the arena and the people's hearts. In the days of the Old Kingdom, heroes would lead their fans into battles so they could see their skill and bravery in combat. But all too often, Spectators would find themselves torn limb from limb by balverines, or caught in the backwash of a hero's spell. And so, the arena was built in Witchwood, to give heroes a permanent stage on which to fight their duels without endangering the audience. Creatures are brought there from all over Albion for heroes to face, and the battles get more elaborate with every year that passes. But one rule remains unchanged. Should either hero wish it, the final battle between them can be fought to the death. What was a sissy oh, like you doing at the arena? Yeah. My dad is to see nice. thunder fight there. All right. Thunder. <laughs> Alright, also, another thing, when I was in Barrow Fields, that's where we ended off the pre- oh, exactly, whatever that we finished up here. But when we did that, um, there was a merchant selling a blue mushroom, so I decided to do that. And that cost like 1500 gold, so it wasn't too bad, but it was like ridiculous for a mushroom. It was this dude up here. Yes. You have Chicken yourself a shaker. nice day. And then I accidentally went, I Looking stood into um, Oakvale, which was annoying because then it entered a cutscene. It was basically just our hero going down and speaking to a woman. And it turned out that woman was the little girl that we found the teddy bear for at the very start of the game. And that's when our hero had a little bit of a flashback moment. And he didn't really like that, he had a little bit of a scare. And that was it, really. And all right, let's have a look at here. See how much our childhood home is. Five. All right. All right, let's go and speak to everyone that is around this area. Oh, am I pleased to see? Over here. Okay. Oh, my love. I often stand out here and look out to sea. My dear husband was lost to the waters years ago. He went on a fishing expedition and never came back. I haven't given up hope of seeing him again one day. Okay. So what is... oh, that's awesome. Okay, not that I really care about assassin's boots, but... What is in here? Cliff top part. Right. 
this doesn't look too safe. Alright, and it's locked. Well, at least we know that's something else I don't need to look at at the moment, but I think this is a story mission. I'm not 100%. Let's see who else we can talk to around here. Just to be 100%, because I don't want to miss anything. Over here. Enjoy. That's cool, bro. You can wait. It was a pain in the ass to get here, so I can look around all I want. Need a good sword to fight beside you. No, not really. What is up? Memorial Garden, okay. Three symbolizes Reaper, Quick Bell, Reaper, Master, and Gravity, and a Dragon. I just want to have a look to see if our parents are This Carter gave his line to Hubby and I don't think it is really. I don't, I don't think they are here because it's probably just included in that. Okay, from the look of it, there's not much here. Mission again. Alright, not really much here. Let's have a look at that. We'll probably have to go here later on or something. Need a good sword to fight beside you. Oh, look at our size difference here. Old Maze were searching for you. He's in the Oakvale Tavern. Hello? Oh, he was. oh, he's not even the one I meant to be talk uh, talking to. Hello? Oh, he's here somewhere. Hello. Well met to you again, sir. Oh, look over there. It's Chicken Chaser. Hey, a hero, uh, can you, uh... Oh, a hero! I could really use your help, sir. I run a harmless little chicken contest down on the beach, but I'm having a bit of ghost trouble. Some deceased chicken fancier, no doubt. The thing is, he's scaring all my punters away. You couldn't, you know, work some of your hero magic and get rid of him, could you? I'll have a like. Shiver me timbers! Ah! <laughs> at long last, a kind soul who doesn't flee at the sight of me. I have placed this forsaken beach for so many years. Could it be that you be sent by the gods to lift me from my fierce torment? My spirit dwells at the bottom of the sea. Arr, and my poor wife is left a destitute and a grieving. Arr, she thinks I was but a simple fisherman and still be somewhere lost at sea. It may shock you to learn, dear friend, that I had a small side business in piracy. Arr, I hid my sinfully plundered treasure next to the jetty on the western beach. 
If you want to use a spade to dig it up and give it my wife, I will reward you with plentiful riches, ye old sea dog. If you be in need of a spade, they be sold in town. Okay. That's what we're going to do next. First. Funny if we can just marry them. You got rid of that ghost yet? Nice to see you, Hero. Have a nice yeah. visit. Okay, that's something else we'll have to do. <laughs> Over here. Oh, no, okay, I'm just going to do the Over here. Good morning. Hey there. Here's you. Like the look of this Over here. Well, ready to help? Best wow. prices. Well, Over here. Maybe the shovel. Oh, you yeah. look like a nice enough hero. Well met you. Your shirt sure finds something to suit you. Oh, thank you. That's so pricey. Is in the tavern. You might want to see him. Here is the normal here. Okay. Oh, what can I do you for? Your shirt sure finds something to suit you. We're searching for you. He's in the Oakville Tavern. That's so cool. But I'm digging for buried treasure. Over okay, here. I don't need that. Why, why, why did you never come back? I don't even know where it would be. Your stench of dead fish. Hmm, I think I might be able to see that. I can't exactly remember where I got off. Nice to see you. Nope, can't go over here. Oh, okay, that was nope. Hmm. Okay, look, I might get that. Over here. Now, is that everyone I really spoke to? Hmm. Hey. Over here. Hey. Although I feel hey. we have to do this. Damn it, we're not here. So irritating. Alright, let's actually continue the story on this episode. Over here. Ah, there you are. I thought maybe you were getting too famous to be seen round here. I'm afraid I've heard nothing more of your sister. And there's little else I can do. There is hope yet, though. A blind seeress lives among Twinblade's bandit clan. She may be able to tell you about your sister. The seeress stands next to the bandit king himself. And it's no coincidence the bandits have been doing so well lately. Have you heard of Twinblade? He was a hero once. 
Yes, giant of a man. He had little patience for the guild, though. He left, and brought together a dozen bandit factions. I always suspected he was behind the attack on your home. This could be your chance for revenge. The camp can't be far from here. The village is often under attack. I've left a quest card at the guild with the details. Check the guild for more quests. Great to see you around. Because they said the west. Oh, okay. These are good and. Oh my love, where? Oh my goodness, this is from my husband. You say he saved it up by taking Taurus out on his boat? Well, yes, I, I do remember seeing him take people on board. Well, they looked like bandits from a distance. Isn't that silly? I knew he really cared for me. He was such a good Honest man. Thank you so much. I will still pray to see him return safe one day. Right after I've done some shopping. Don't really like it much anymore, jeez. Alright, now we can go back to the dust. You got rid of that ghost yet? Shut up, dude. You look like the guy that made me put on funny hair stuff. So don't even look at me. Avast! You've been a trusty sea dog, you have. Uh, perchance now I can finally enjoy my dad. But before I leave, I shall keep my end of the bargain. Ah! The rest of the swag be buried under the axe of a statue in the local graveyard. If it still be there, you're welcome to it. Now, thank ye, and goodbye. So, okay, we'll go up to the graveyard and under an axe statue, I guess. Have you got rid of him yet? You have? Why, capital news. Come down and pay me and the chickens a visit if you like. Are you going to give me anything for getting rid of the ghost, or are you just going to stand there? Wow. Rude. Need a good sword to fight beside you? No, I'm good, thanks, bro. What's this? You're now renowned enough to use the sexy hero pose expression. You have reached well-known state. We'll try this out for now, and if not, I'll just go back to the sword. I do. Oh, good, thanks, mate. Right, come on. Get with it. Do you think I'm pretty? 
I met this man at a party in the Guild Woods who says I am. Oh, this is it, yeah. Because in the Guild Woods, this guy gave me a letter to give to her while I was looking for the, um, the blue mushrooms. I think... I think you might be in love with me. You haven't spoken to him, have you? Oh, is this... is this from you? I don't believe it. He really does love me. He says my eyes are like two glowing suns. I have to let him know I feel the same. Please, could you take this to him? Oh, I can't wait to tell Fiona about this. Okay. We nearly cleared up all the little side missions in the area. That's the chicken dude. No, I think that's the other dude though. Alright, we'll go down to the chicken dude and see what, what type of game that is. Can I tempt you to a game of chicken kicking, sir? Okay. So, 50 points. Grand chicken. Ooh. Ah, welcome, sir. Welcome. Might you be interested in a fine new sport? I call it chicken kicking. Invented it myself. All you gotta do is step into the ring and kick the feathery vermin into the scoring area. Ho oh, ho, it's easy. Now, my eyesight ain't what it used to be, but I can usually make out where they land. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Wanna give it a try? If you could leave your weapon, sir, and no spells allowed either. Wouldn't be very sporting now, would it? Mm, only chickens, you know. Then we shall get started. Good luck, sir. Okay, scoring area is composed of various signs. The further you can the trick in, the more points you can. Diagonal kicks to the far left and right will score you higher points than straight ones. Of course, your kick is affected by your strength, speed, and skills. Taking up the ones with the okay. Cease to amaze me, 25 points. A bit of a weakling, front right for 25 points. That was 50, all right. Well, it's better than nothing. That was Front 50. left for 25 oh, points. Come on. <laughs> Could do better. Front right for 25 points. That is on the 50. <laughs> and it's on the 25 again. Well, it's yeah. better than nothing. Front left for 25 points. Not a bad score, I suppose, though I would have expected better from a hero. Still, there's a special prize for you, the cock call expression. It's not that useful at attracting chickens, but it's a great party trick. Can I tempt you to a game of chicken right, so kicking, obviously my sir. strength kill isn't high enough. Why is the like enchantment skill for my just sitting over there? Okay. Let's have a look here. Yeah. Oh, Alright guys, I'm gonna end this episode here for today, and in the next one we're going to go back to the Heroes Guild and accept the next story mission. If you guys want to catch up with me or say anything else going on the channel, make sure to follow me on my Twitter, which is on the screen in front of you or in the description down below, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.